In other news tonight, neighbors are thankful to be alive after a blasting mishap at the VA construction site sent rocks flying. The incident damaged several homes, shocked drivers on the Waterson, and left people living nearby scared for their safety. WLKY's Madeline Carter gives us a closer look at the damage and what has to happen to prevent this from happening again. Ana Maria was out having lunch with her daughter Tuesday afternoon when all of a sudden, blasting at the VA Medical Center construction site sent shockwaves through her home on Bedford Lane. It's scary. A rock from the site flew through the air, crashed through Ana Maria's roof, and this is where it landed, completely shattering her stove. Glass all over the place and She's crawling, and I mean, I'm not concerned about me. I'm concerned about her all the time. Ana Maria is a nutritionist and says she's lucky she wasn't in the kitchen when it happened. I can cook things without the stove, but still it's 80% of the things I do is I need the stove. She isn't the only one cleaning up rock fragments. We went into a woman's home just down the street in the Graymore Devondale neighborhood, whose bathroom is now obliterated after another rock from the blast came crashing through her ceiling. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is now speaking out about the incident and damage to surrounding property. First thing went through my head is, is anybody injured? First thing we went through is like, okay, what, what is going on? And uh, we've re received no injuries today. Now that doesn't minimize the, the impacts to people's homes and, and what happened to people's cars. Matthew Lowe says safety is the number one priority moving forward. Construction will continue, but blasting will be suspended until they conduct a thorough investigation. We did not expect this to happen out here. Um, and that's the reason that we're taking this investigation so seriously because uh, we want to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. Meanwhile, the community is demanding further action to protect people like Anna Maria and her daughter. It's really sad, but it's a blessing that it was only the stove and not us. Madeline Carter, WLKY News.